Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we will do lesson 2.4 Estimate Products and our essential question is how can you estimate products by rounding and determine if exact answers are reasonable okay so as we started estimating the addition and the subtraction today we will estimate the product okay so let's unlock the problem an elephant can reach as high as 23 feet with its trunk. It uses its trunk to pick up objects that weigh up to 3 times as much as 165 pound person. About how much weight can an African elephant pick up with its trunk? Okay, so first cross out the information you will not use okay so the question asks about how much weight can an african elephant pick up with its trunk so it asks about the weight so we don't need this sentence so here circle the numbers you will use we will use that it can pick up objects up to three times as much as a 165 pound person okay so we'll need to use the three and the 165 okay how will you use the numbers to solve the problem okay look at the question he said about about how much weight can an African elephant pick up with its trunk so about means we will estimate so we will estimate okay it said here it uses its trunk to pick up objects that weigh up to three times as much as 165 pound person so we said times as many as much as means we will multiply so we'll have to multiply 3 by 165 we don't need the actual answer or the or the actual product we just need an estimate okay so let's estimate 3 times 165 so one way by using rounding okay so we will round the greater factor to the nearest 100 so here 165 if we round it to the nearest 100 so we look at the 6 the 6 is strong digit so the 100 will be 200 so it's a 3 times 200 and as we started on the past lesson 3 times 200 we do it like this we use the basic fact 3 times 2 which is 6 and we have two zeros here we write them in the product so it's 600 okay or we can say that 3 times 200 we make it 3 times 2 and hundreds we write it in words we multiply 3 by 2 for now and keep the word hundreds so 3 times 2 is 600 so 600 we write it like this or just multiply the 3 by 2 and write the two zeros so an African elephant can pick up about 600 pounds with its trunk okay another way is to made by finding two numbers the exact answer is between okay so here we will find two numbers the exact answer will be between these two numbers let's see how okay so here we have 165 we know that 165 is between 100 and 200 so if I multiply the 3 by 100 and my I'll multiply the 3 by 200 I'll get two numbers the exact answer will be between them okay so 3 times 100 is 300 3 times 200 we multiply 3 by 2 which is 6 and we write the two zeros which is 600 so the answer the exact answer should be between the 300 and the 600 okay maybe 400 and something 500 
but it can't be less than 300 or more than 600 okay so for example if we told you that the exact answer is like 580 for example we can say that this is reasonable because it's between the 300 and 600 but if he told you that the answer is 200 and something that is not reasonable because the answer should be between the 300 and the 600 okay so the african elephant can pick up between 300 and 600 pounds okay so the two ways again by rounding we round the greater number which is 165 to the nearest 100 so we rounded the 165 to 200 then we multiply 3 by 200 equals 600 okay the other way we estimate by finding two numbers the exact answer is between so we look at the bigger numbers the 165 we know it's between 100 and 200 so we'll multiply the 3 by 100 and multiply it by 200 then we will have two numbers here the 300 and the 600 so the exact answer will be between 300 and 600 okay number one here is 200 less than or greater 165 sure 200 is greater than 165 so it's greater than okay so should the product of 3 and 165 be less than or greater than 600 okay so okay the 600 is 3 times 200 right that what we used at round it three times 200 okay so would the product of three times 165 be less than or greater than 600 sure if you multiply three by three by 165 it will be less than three times 200 so this will be less than okay here we can estimate a product to find whether an exact answer is reasonable so sometimes he give you an answer and he asks you is that answer reasonable or not okay so here tell whether an exact answer is reasonable if his horse eats 86 pounds each week Eva solved the equation below to find how much feed she needs for four weeks so each week 86 so for four weeks we have to multiply 4 by 86 so 4 times 86 Eva says she needs 344 pounds of feed is her answer reasonable okay as we estimating the product by two ways so we have two ways also to tell if this is reasonable or not okay so one way we will use rounding so we will keep the four and we will round the 86 to the tens okay so to the right of the eight we have six six is strong so the 80 will be 90 then we have to multiply four by 90 so we'll multiply first four by nine so 4 times 9 is 36 and we write this 0 so 360 okay so the 344 is close to the 360 so we can say that the answer is reasonable okay what is the other way and this way I like it more because it's more accurate because we will get two numbers the exact answer should be between them so here we will get these two numbers so here is 4 multiply 4 multiply 86 this is 80 so 86 is between 80 and 90 so we'll multiply one time by 80 and one time by 90 so 4 times 80 we multiply 4 times 8 first 4 times 8 is 32 
and we should write the zero here four times nine is 36 and we write the zero okay so here we have 320 and 360 the exact answer should be between them okay so since the 344 is between the 320 and the 360 so the 344 pounds of feed is reasonable okay so if he, for example if he said that the answer or she said that the answer is for example 316 we can say it is not reasonable if it's 390 it is not reasonable okay so it must be something between 320 and 360 okay now for share and show estimate the product by rounding okay so let's keep the five and round the 2213 to the nearest thousand okay so underline the two and we look at this two this two is weak so the 2000 we keep it 2000 so 5 times 2000 we multiply 5 by 2 5 by 2 is 10 and we have three zeros to write them look here at the answer we have four zeros because already one zero came from the 5 times 2 okay here it's the same problem but we'll estimate the product by finding two numbers the exact answer is between so here is the 5 here is the 5 here we're gonna multiply it by this is 2000 so we're gonna multiply by the 2000 and 3000 okay so 2213 is between 2000 and 3000 okay so let's multiply here 5 times 2 is 10 and we should write the three zeros so it's 10,000 here 5 times 3 is 15 and we write the three zeros so 15,000 so the exact answer should be between 10,000 and 15,000 okay here tell whether the exact answer is reasonable Kira needs to make color copies of a horse show flyer the printer can make 24 copies in one minute Kira says the printer makes 114 copies in six minutes okay the printer can make 24 copies in one minute so Kira says the printer makes 114 copies in six minutes so in six minutes we should multiply 6 by 24 so Kira multiplied 6 by 24 and she said that the answer is 114 we want to see if this answer is reasonable or not okay so here Kira multiplied 6 by 24 and she said that the answer is 114 okay so we'll estimate 6 by 24 by finding the two numbers the answer should be between them okay so 6 times 24 so I'll make it 6 6 times what and 6 times what okay so 24 is between 20 and 30 so I'll multiply 6 by 20 and 6 by 30 so 6 times 20 so 6 times 2 is 12 and we write 0 here 6 times 30 so multiply 6 by 3 which is 18 and we'll write 0 okay here we have 120 and 180 so the exact answer should be between 120 and 180 it can't be less than 120 it can't be more than 180 okay so she said it's 114 which is less than the 120 so Kira's answer is not reasonable so we can say the answer is not reasonable okay we can say why 
because 114 is not between 120 and 180 okay guys so to make sure that an answer is reasonable i i advise you to use it this way it's better okay because using rounding maybe you get an estimate greater than the actual answer the exact answer or less than the exact answer but here we will have two numbers the exact answer should be between them okay so we are sure that this answer is correct or not okay so here we have 6 times 24 we multiply it by 20 and we multiply it by 30 so 6 times 20 is 120 6 times 30 is 180 if the answer between 120 and 180 it is reasonable if not it is not reasonable here we have 114 which is not between 100 to and 20 and 180 so it is not reasonable okay hope you guys understand the lesson have a nice day and goodbye